Hi, we're biologists. I'm Jeremy Starks. I'm David Miller. And welcome back to Whitetail 101. I hope you guys have been following our trail cameras, but this week we're going to use that to talk about age class and how to utilize your cameras to determine age structure. Now, we know how difficult it can be to age whitetail mm -hmm. and the importance of learning individual deer to age them. So, even as biologists, it can be very difficult to age a deer on the hoof or just out of the tree stand. It can, especially early season. It's, yeah. yeah, their bodies are a little different. A lot different. You know, their hair's a little different. Yep. They're not got that rutted up neck. One deer we're talking about, we're gonna show you pictures of, you can take a look at this, was a deer Misty Loggins killed that was nine and a half years old. And he stayed basically the same rack for five or six years and then blew up at nine and a half. Now, what do you think happens there, Dave? Nine and a half years old. Man, I think, honestly, I think it's a, a genetic thing. I think every deer has their own genetic makeup and because there's, there's such variation, like you've got how many years of sheds? We have eight and a half years of sheds of that deer. Eight and a half years of sheds. And the year before she harvested this deer, how big was he? He was maybe 115, 120 inches and he was 150 inch 10 point the next year. Yeah, so he went from a hundred and what'd you say, ten inch, eight point to a hundred and fifty inch, ten point, ten point in one year, and it took nine or eight years for that to happen. And one yeah. thing again, the importance of trail cameras to learn these individual deer. If it had just been a deer we'd encountered while we were in the woods, we'd have never recognized him. Yeah. But we had so much film of this deer. He had some key features. You know, he had a really dark patch on his on his head. He had chocolate horns. He had the yep. same bladed. Uh, brow tines. So those are the important factors that we use for our trail cameras. Exactly. We'd never notice and recognize that deer without it. Now, what does this all mean? It's like, Frank, this is a buck that Dave is chasing that hopefully we're going to get on film the first day of the season. He's yeah. a monster this year, but he blew up at four and a half. Exactly. And, and if he would have been a seven and a half, we'd have been hunting him. But Without that trail cam history, you'd have not known that. 100% because as a three and a half year old, Jeremy, he was a 110, 115 inch eight point. And then as a, at three and a half, and then at four and a half, he was 155 inch 11 point. And now this year as a five and a half year old, he's all the way up to close 100. to 170 inches. Right, and, yeah. and if it had just been a deer you were in a stand and saw occasionally, you'd never have a clue. I would have maybe been pursuing him as a four and a half year old when I needed to give him another year to live. And lost that 15 inches of growth. Exactly, and killed a deer that wasn't, wasn't truly mature yet. So using those trail cameras to identify an aged deer, man, it's, it's key. There's nothing replaces no. just time watching these deer. Um, again, as biologists, even we struggle sometimes in the field. Now, there's yeah. certain deer that have key characteristics that make it easier, and there's certain things that you definitely want to look for. You want to look for that pronounced brisket, you know, that larger neck. But nothing's going to replace time uh, with staring at those deer, looking at pictures, studying them, learning all those individual characteristics. Yeah. Make sure use those trail cameras as a tool because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Make sure you log into our, our trail cameras. We got a brand new one coming out that you're gonna see some giants on, I promise you. Log into Covert Wireless, log in as guest user or use the keyword Botec capital B. We're gonna add more and more cameras. We're gonna change up some locations, but uh, we hope it helps you. If you have any questions, leave comments, send us a direct message. We'll try to get them answered. But good luck this season. Season's getting here really quick. Yeah, be sure to join us. We'll see you soon on those cameras.